How's my hair look? So, hey guys, Luke here. Um, just wanted to show you guys through a few of the new albums we have here in the studio. All right, so just looking at a couple of the different styles and sizes of albums now. Um, this is a 10 by 10 inch uh, flush mount album, and it's called a panoramic album because we were able to print across the spines in some of the older versions and the, the ones with the thicker pages, we couldn't do that. Um, whereas now we can, we can print across these the, the centre spine, which just allows for so many more options in terms of design. With these albums we have the option as well when it comes to ordering to be able to order little mini versions, parent, we call them parent albums, but you know, little replicas, and they're basically an exact copy of your album, but they just allow, allow for you to potentially choose them as a gift to, to hand on to parents. Um, so that's, as I said, 10 by 10 inch. We have a whole multitude of options in terms of the cover materials that we can choose and also the style of the title. Um, this is obviously what Kate and Bryce have chosen as well as Georgie and Aaron. And Georgie and Aaron had a 12 by 12 inch album. When it comes to the point where we're putting your order through and processing your order, that's when we kind of choose what covers and what, what sort of style title you want. So you can see Rochelle and Jed here have, have gone with an embossing, um, which is an option as well. And all of the papers, the glues, the inks, basically everything that's used to make these albums is a museum grade archival in terms of their longevity. They're designed to last 100 years plus. And uh, yeah, so it's good to know that they're gonna be around for a very, very long time. When it comes to designing your album and selecting your images, that's done by you guys using your favorites folder inside your online gallery, which is the first thing that's sent to you uh, after your wedding. I then use them to create a design which you can then proof and make changes to and yeah, it's a pretty seamless process. So thanks for checking the video out guys. I hope you got something out of it and yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Probably should have scripted some of this, mate. Right?